let's try to understand what is uh, the uh, conditional probability so let's try uh, let's take an example to understand what is conditional probability um, so in the game of cards uh, which has got 52 cards as you know in a game of cards there are always 52 cards so find the probability that out of this 52 cards uh, the one that you have picked is a spade given the information that uh, you have already picked um, the number 10 right so how many number of 10 uh, how many number of cards uh, are there in, in a pack of 52 cards which carries number 10 the four cards right the four cards now out of these four cards what is the probability that one of them is a speed which is clearly one by four right this is nothing but the conditional probability that you have picked a card speed given that it is 10 now there are two events happening here you are you know picking uh, the card speed given that you already know that you have already picked the card 10 or the card which carries the number 10 right so this is known as the conditional probability of you know picking uh, the card speed given the information that you have already picked the card which carries 10 and you know you can simply calculate that but there should be a standard way of calculating con uh, conditional probabilities so uh, theoretically let's say if a and b are two events um, so the probability of event a happening given that uh, event uh, b has already happened is uh, fundamentally known as uh, the conditional probability of a given b so even b has happened and it is known to you it has already happened and what is the probability of a happening okay so this is called conditional probability so condition to the event b what is the probability of a happening so it's not unconditional it is conditional okay so in our example uh, a means getting speed and b means getting 10 now the event b is always given that means already known to you okay um, so so when we try to find what is the conditional probability of p uh, of a given b which is p uh, of uh, of the probability of a intersection b um, upon uh, probability of a intersection b plus probability of a complement um, intersection b this is not very complicated to understand it all all it says that in the numerator it is that the probability of you know the two events jointly happening that means uh, both you know you are picking 10 as well as speed so that's probability of that and the same term is used here also in the denominator the one in the right side of the denominator which is the second term which it contains the uh, complement probability of a complement intersection b it says that Okay, if not spade, then what else? Well, there are there can be three possibility in these cases, right? If not spade, out of these four, uh, you know, you will be have uh, you will have another three. So that's complement, right? So that means it's not spade. So when we try to solve this, a probability of a intersection b is nothing but one by fifty two. That means, uh, you know, there is only one card which is ten as well as spade, right? There is only one card out of fifty two. So that happening is 1 by 52. Now if it doesn't happen, if it's not split, so what will it be? Well, there are only three possibilities, right? Because there are only four types of card. And you know, if it's not split, then it will be another three type of, or the other three types, right? So it is 3 by 52. So probability of A complement intersection B is 3 by 52, right? And then we put in the formula, uh, so it denominator it's 1 by 52, uh, upon 1 by 52 plus 3 by 52 which is the second term and then when you simplify that you you get uh, 1 by 4 now initially also by using a common sense we found it 1 by 4 and now using this formula um, you also find the same answer now this is useful in more complicated uh, problems where you know finding a general solution uh, or very easy solution the way we did in the first slide is not easy so it is always good to uh, is good to or handy to have this 
formula and you can use this formula to you know uh, get a quick answers.